Revelation 4175. From the 25th of November 1947. Jesus Child God and Man. Call for clarification, and it will be yours. On whom the Spirit of God falls, the one can also truthfully give answers to questions that are put to him in spiritual regard. It is the mystery of the incarnation of God such a difficult problem for people on earth, that they can be taught never completely, unless they take even the declaration in receiving the Spirit of God, so that they are understood well by the receiver of spiritual messages, but cannot be forwarded to the neighbors understandably. The man Jesus was born in a wonderful way indeed, and his birth was accompanied by heavenly appearance of any kind. Nevertheless the body was and remained earthly material for the time being, the soul came from the kingdom of light and thus came without sin into the world, and consequently God could reveal himself by this soul, he could act, because there was nothing, what would have opposed itself as an obstacle to his work. So God and man was in the child Jesus at the same time. Everything the human eye could see was a human being, but who gave the child life, who attracted people and caused them to worship by his nearness, was God. The eternal God had self revealed himself and was recognized by those who were goodwill, whose hearts were capable of love and love willingly, and therefore they opened themselves for the Spirit of God to act in them. By the time of the birth of Jesus, only people came near him who were guided to him by the Spirit of God, who were also appreciated by God himself, to view the child, whom he himself approached through the child and where he awakened the consciousness, to be in the nearness of God. But another man than such people the child would appear purely humanly, not otherwise as other children, as well as it was with his earthly body. And so the people saw him in his youth and in later years for he did not appear obviously with his divinity, with his being filled with the Spirit of God, although he himself always united more and more with God by his exemplary life of love, which also spiritualized his body and made it a receiving vessel for the Divine Spirit. But it was the man Jesus, who himself had to make a worthy temple of God's Spirit by activity of love that this could conceal in him in all fullness and could work through him indefinitely. What he spoke, was doing miracles and even commanded the deaf, was God himself, what people were seeing, was a human being. The belief in the divine mission of the man Jesus let the people also recognize God in him, both as a child and in his years of teaching, where these recognized him likewise again, who were themselves the same spirit who led a life according to the divine will and therefore also opened up to his divine being. For them, it was without doubt, that God himself was in him and worked through him. But sometimes the human outer form let even arise doubts in those, because they could not understand the mystery of the incarnation of God and the mystery of the complete unity of God and man, as it can also never be completely clarified to the people who are not spiritually lively. These would probably be able to grasp it with their soul, but it can never be purely rationally shown, as it would be necessary for a full understanding. But never and never the child Jesus can be denied the deity, because this child was worthy of the highest grace, that God himself hid in him, that he revealed himself to those, who loved him and lived according to his will. Amen.